Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and you're watching So Beauty Stuff. So I've almost finished doing my makeup. All I have left to do is put some eyeliner on and put some mascara on. I feel like winged eyeliner is, is the bane of makeup, you know, to everyone. It's just the one thing that you never know if you're gonna get it right, if you're gonna get it even, is it gonna turn out how you want it to? So the product I'm gonna share with you today is brand new from Thin Lizzy. It's called the Perfect Wing Eyeliner Set. Um, so the idea of this is it's um, a stamp pen and you stamp on your wings and you draw on the rest of the line on your lid. Um, so it comes in four sizes. I've been lucky enough to receive all four of them. Um, they all come in black. So you have a six mil, eight mil, 10 mil and 12 mil. They call them the fine, the petite, the glam and the bold. So I feel like I'm gonna go with the glam, which is the 10 mils. Um, I have stamped all of these on my hands just to give an indication of sizing. So I'll insert the picture now of that. So if we have a look inside this box, you get two pens. So you have the left and the right wing, and then the other side is a felt tip pen to draw on the rest of the lid. So I'll just show you, hopefully this will pick up on camera. Um, the wing side of the stamp, and then you have the pen side. So this almost feels like a, you know, like a whiteboard marker or a permanent marker or something. It's quite comfortable to hold. So one thing I will notice is the pens themselves don't actually um, give away what size they are. It's only on the box. So do make sure you pick up the right one if you're buying this in store. Um, it retails for $29.99. So I'm just looking on the website and it says how to use, align the stamp to the outer corner of your eye in your preferred angle, press on a quick but gentle stamping motion, do not press down too firmly or re-stamp to avoid smudging or smearing, using the, <coughs> I threw it on the floor, using the eyeliner pen continue the line along the upper lid and fill the gaps to complete the look you desire. I potentially should have maybe practiced on this without a full face of makeup just to get used to the, um, the whole stamping motion. It's quite a decent sized wing so I've got my mirror here. Um, so with the angle, I tend to try and just follow the angle of my eye up. So this is my first time trying this. I've stamped them on my hand. Um, I do think it's quite easy to get just a, a stamp. I did that really quickly. Um, and that's what it comes out like in the new, and then you would follow that line across. So I'm gonna try and line this up with the, um, the angle of my lower lid, if that makes sense, the bottom of my eye, try and follow that line up. That's where I would normally do a wing. <laughs> I think I smudged it a little bit, but that's it. I've got a wing on. I have definitely 100% smudged it. So, but that's okay. We can tidy it up, worst things have happened. And then um, I'm just gonna use the pen line to Drag the line to my lid. And so there it is. So this is how I would tidy up smudgy wings. Um, doesn't matter whether you've used a pen, anything. If you need to tidy it up, I take a cotton tip, cotton bud, whatever you call them, um, and I take some micellar water, something really gentle. And I literally will pop that in the, in the nozzle and just tip so that you get nice wet sides. So you've got one side's wet and one side's dry. And I just run that gently along the edge, just really lightly sweeping, just to clean up the edge and then dab it with the dry side. And then if you need to, you can dab on some concealer over. So you're just essentially picking up um, any product that, you, um, that you've misplaced on the skin. Okay, so my very, very first impression of that is definitely um, practice, maybe without any makeup on before going straight in um, on top of your makeup because if you're not used to it, you may end up smudging. But I really like um, how easy that was to draw out the pens really nice. So now I'm gonna try uh, the right side. So just make sure I've got the right angle. I'm gonna sort of like half close my eye. Try and get the angle the same. Oh, that was much better, that one didn't smudge. Huh. Okay, I've got better at that. So then I've just joined that to the eye and now I'm just gonna draw a line across from the inner corner. Can 
you probably could do it in one swoop if you had really smooth eyelids but I get really wrinkly eyelids so okay done okay so that is actually genuinely possibly the fastest I've ever put two wings on that have come out so easily even um, so I'm really impressed with that and they're not too big this being the glam size I thought maybe these would be quite big but I think these are quite nice and I'd I'd probably even go for the bold one just sort of for you know my look as well and you know you can you can practice with the angles you can get it point more up more out whatever suits your eye shape so I think it's a really great idea I think you do have to get used to the stamping so you don't smudge it I do recommend practicing which I did not do um, maybe if I had I would have been a little bit better at this so I think what I'll do tonight when I've taken my makeup off is maybe just practice stamping it on in the direction that I like I'm just gonna chuck on some mascara Okay, so there you have it, my finished look. And I think I'm pleasantly surprised at how easy that was to just boop, pop them on, draw the line across, done. It was no stress. Um, I didn't have to worry about, was I doing the same length, the same thickness that just kind of plonked on? I do think being that it's a bit different, it's a stamp, you do have to get used to that and you have to be careful you not know, to do any smudging or anything like that. Um, but it's definitely something, a little bit of practice and you'll be, you'll be great at. And I'm really, really happy with the way that looks. So thank you so much to Thin Lizzy for sending me um, these eyeliner stamps. Sometimes things that I don't always like with um, pen eyeliners, sometimes they can be smudgy, sometimes they're not jet black enough, but this is a really, really nice color. I'm really, really pleased. So, so I hope you found this review useful. And if you are thinking of buying this product, I hope this helped you make the decision. So you can give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see my more, some of my future videos um, or check out some of my past videos. Why not? Have a look. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.